Hello YouTube, welcome to Case Technologies. In today's video, we're gonna talk about Ansible and how you can work with Cisco iOS devices. So Ansible, as some of you may know, if you've been tuning into some of my previous videos, is a tool that allows you to manage your fleet, be it iOS, Device, uh, Cisco networking devices or Juniper, or even if it's servers like Linux and Windows, if it's workstations, you can do it as well. If you, as long as you, whatever it is, as long as the device has SSH capability, and with Windows, you're going to have to have WinRM installed for it to manage your Windows devices. So keep that in mind. Like I said, we're going to be talking about Cisco. So let's go ahead and jump right in. And right now, I already have my host file set up. If you look at some of my previous videos, it's the same exact host files that had HR Finance and IT in it. I'm just going to be focusing on this block right here. This is all you need. You need some type of Cisco device. It could be virtual. It could be GNS3. It could be uh, like what I'm using, which is a Cisco CSR1000V, the cloud router, cloud services router. And then what you want to do is you want to make a block. You can call it RTR or router or switch. And then you want to have a colon vars because these are going to be our variables for this field right here, router. Then you want to do ansible underscore connection equals local because we want to make it like a local connection. And make sure that you already have your device. If you are looking at Cisco, more than likely you're already studying for your CCNA exam or you've already passed something. So you should know how to configure uh for privilege mode and for SSH mode and things like that and how to add the key. If not, go ahead and look it up so that you can SSH into your, your box. Now, the next one variable we're going to need is Ansible Network OS. We want Ansible to know that the device that it's trying to connect to for the group router is actually an iOS device, a Cisco iOS device. All right. And then you must have your IP or your DNS name if you have DNS set up. Okay. And after you have that done, what we want to do is go ahead and get started. All right. Now we have a host files, host file set up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and create a new file. And in this file, we're going to always start with the three dashes. If you're not really familiar with the basics of Ansible, go back to my Ansible tutorial one video. I'll make sure I provide it in the description. And we'll start with three dashes. And then another dash. And then we want to call this playbook something from the inside. And we're just going to say Cisco commands. Because why else would we be dealing with Cisco if we weren't trying and um, inside of Ansible if we weren't trying to run some type of commands and then our group remember from the host files is router right here and that lines up with here and then we have the next item which is gather facts and we want to say no for this because we don't want to grab a lot of information but if you want to see what type of uh, verbose output you receive or get back just delete this line all together and it'll, by default it will gather facts for you it'll also make the playbooks take longer to run so if you're ever in production and you're trying to figure out how you can speed up your Ansible playbooks this is one method of doing that is by removing is by saying no to gather facts another method is the amount of forks that you can run simultaneously so keep that in mind. Those are two ways that you can quickly improve the speed of your, your Ansible playbooks, especially if you're going, you're running in an enterprise where you have thousands of in-host devices. And then our next one, we're going to say, we're going to create our task. And I actually like to just get a little space between our task and our main menu items here. And I'm going to say name. And we're going to say, let's say, show IP interface 
brief. Oops. And that's going to be the command that we're actually going to issue on the router, on the cloud router, or what I'm going to issue on the cloud router. You may have something different. And then we're going to say commands colon and the actual command that we're going to run. So you get this is interchangeable. Any command, if you want to do show version, show iOS, you can use that for any of your show commands. So I'm just going to just show IP interface brief because I don't want anything like show run that's going to take forever. It has a lot of output that might not be necessarily useful because this right here is just for you to get the gist of what's going on behind the scenes. So now as you run this command, there's going to be some type of feedback or out output, but we want it wouldn't be outputted to the screen. So what we want to do is we want to register it with our variable that we set. And right here we set it as get underscore IP brief. Then we want to do our next task where we'll be able to just get it to print to the screen, print the results to the screen. And this will be results show IP int brief. And I'm just going to run it short for my Cisco veterans. And that's just going to be the name of it that we'll see when this message is printed out. And we can do the same thing. Results. Get IP interface IP brief dot standard out. So we're just going to print it to the screen. Like I said before, we want the standard out to come right to the screen. And we're going to leave it at that right there. Oh, oops. Uh, yes, it has to save it. So we're going to name it show commands dot yaml and hit enter. And now we have that fancy syntax highlighting. If you have that turned on or if you're using some type of editor that allows for that. So let's go ahead and recap the overall name of this play uh, inside this playbook that we'll see is Cisco commands, but let's make that Cisco show commands. And our host group we'll be running against is router. Gather facts is no. Then we have our task right here below. You say name show IP interface brief, and let's go ahead and do like this so we can really see the sequence. Let's do one. Let's give it a number, and then we're going to say two, so we know it's task two. And we're going to do a dash. All right. And then we have the IOS uh, command module that we're using. And then commands that we're going to be running is show IP interface brief. Then we're going to say register get IP brief. And then our second one will be results show IP interface brief. And then we'll be using the debug mess, debug module so that we can print the message here of the results to the screen. So after that's done, make sure that you save, like I said, and I'm going to clear everything here out of my screen. Let's see. And I'm going to bring this up just so it's nice and clear. And I'm going to close the left side. We want to do Ansible dash play playbook dash I host because we want to run it on our, against our host in the directory in which we're working in. We don't want the Ansible Etsy Ansible host file to be executed. All right. And then we're going to say dash user. In this case, my user is case and dash K for the password to prompt for the password and then enter. Oh, I forgot to add the playbook in which I want to run it against. So let's clear this out. And I have to select the actual playbook, show commands.yaml, and the same things apply. So as we, you can see here, as we playbook, show commands.yaml, dash I host, 
dash u case, which is the user, and dash k, which will prompt you for the password. And then we want to put in the password. And task one ran successfully. We got an OK. And then we know that it, it ran successfully because we have the results right here printed to the screen. And another thing we can do is I want to try something else really quick because you don't have to just run one command. What we can do is we can do a return and run a subset of multiple commands. And we can do also show version. Okay. And say control S for save. And all we did was change that one block. Let's go ahead and clear this out. And let's do everything exactly the same. And everything should print to the screen like so. Whoa, look at all that. Just from the show versions, we have all this Cisco iOS XE software version 3.15, on and on and on and on and on. So let's say you're running these commands and you're saying, okay, this is not really useful for me to, to run this against 10 devices and try to be looking at the screen. I don't want to be shelling out on every Ansible playbook run. I want to go ahead and store this so that it could be something useful. So what you would do is we will wipe out this area right here. We don't want to use the debug module anymore. At that point, after you've tested everything, you know it runs on one device. That would be the best way to do it is you're doing debugging. You want to see if something works. You want to run it against one device. We would then come back and use the copy module. And then we would do something like this. Content. And we would say get. Oh, sorry. I have to use the curly braces. Get IP brief which is our variable already dot standard out so that would be the content or the source of the content or the information that we want to get and then we have to have a destination and then for this scenario I'm going to use the temp directory because I'm on Linux but you can use any other whatever you're running it from you can use uh, whatever di directories you have, you want to use your home directory, a set of special directories, a special mount point. You can do that as well. It's not limited by that. Whatever you have access to on the system you're running this from, the same thing applies in here. And I'm just going to put the permissions at 776, which I really don't need because I will be the owner and creator of it. I really do. 640 if you wanted to be more secure all right and that's it right there we're going to use the copy module we're going to take the contents from above from the register and the standard out and we're going to send it or write it into this file get ip brief txt and then we're going to have a permission set of 640 so let's go ahead and save that And we want to clear our screen again. And up, oh, press up if you're on, um, well, yeah, if more than likely you're on Linux. So let's go ahead and run this. Almost entered the wrong password. I did enter the wrong password. So let's do that again. All right, so we can see that both of them were okay and one changed because we changed that task, something different happened. And let's check our temp directory to see if the file was actually created. All right, so it was actually created and we can look at those permissions with ls-lh temp get ip brief that text and there you go it's a 640 on there so what we can do is 
we can open up that file and I'm at my temp directory. Get IP brief text txt and then all of it's added to the file and it's on one line. Everything we needed from the show version and show IP interface brief. See here, show IP interface brief, interface, IP address, protocol, Ethernet, everything like that. And then we have the Cisco iOS XC software version 315, and that's where the show version starts. All right. And we could also might print better if we actually clear this and cat the file because it has all the new line uh, characters in there right here. So get all right. Here we go. It did it did it a good job for IP interface breathe. And since in the uh, show version, it started on the new line here and it goes all the way down. All right. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And like I said before, I'll have the GitHub on this uh, posted in the link inside the description. Thanks again.